it's one of the best tiger years in a 60 year cycle. And it means good fortune, prosperity, that sort of good stuff. Everybody's feeling a little bit apprehensive about the year ahead. And quite a good way of addressing the year ahead is to um, think of what the year of the tiger means. And nobody seems to really know what it means, so we thought we might as well ask a few people. I think Chinese New Year is all about family and getting together and celebrating each other. So I'm a TV presenter and host, which growing up I would never have believed if I told myself that, that was what I was going to be. Um, because I never saw anyone that looked like me on TV. I think uh, uh, every year we will do something for our bigger family. We will uh, cook something like a whole fish or thing, uh, the, the, the chicken or duck, this kind of thing, to our uh, staff. Um, yeah, that sort of uh, celebration. We are uh, not uh, family-wise, I think, um, very busy. Yeah, we might have to grab a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Silk Sun has been around for more than 20 years in Melbourne. We still using the traditional way to prepare and keeping the old traditional flavour and serve it in a modern way. Tell us what it's meant to you, what's happened in the last couple of years with the pandemic. I know you're not meant to say this, but I've kind of loved it in some ways. I've found a whole new love for Australia. And um, I don't know, it's the simpler things, loving hanging out with your family and your friends and you know more intimate sort of scenes and sort of we're not taking Australia for granted anymore. I think that everyone's really grown to think, wow, Australia's an amazing country and look at what we have on our doorstep. Obviously in the last two years for Melbourne people and migrants, it has been very difficult. But during the time, people start to think about the meaning of, of the life, the importance of family value, etc. cetera. The, the Thai, it's, uh, in Chinese, it's Cao Sui, uh, Mandarin, Cao Sui. And when the Cao Sui Tui going away and see who's really got the pants up. And when the really pressure comes, or the lockdown, whatever, the, 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 the tie goes down, all of a sudden you're naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you say, ah, because the water going away. Nothing to do with it. You take your pants off a long time ago. <laughs> what do you know about Year of the Tiger, do you know, does, does that mean anything particularly to you? If you were born in the Year of the Tiger, that's, that's very good in Chinese culture. You know, it's strong, it's fierce, it's loyal, brave. I'm actually Year of the Dog. I think it's very fitting. I'm obsessed one with dogs, but um, the dog is very loyal, calm, fun, family oriented, um, loving. So I feel like that personifies me a little bit. Yeah. And this coming tiger year is a water tiger year. There's a 60 year, old, 60 year cycle of Chinese zodiac. So each tiger within that 60 years is different. This coming up year is a water tiger year is one of the best. It means prosperity, fortune and good development for family and business. Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year is a long tradition to all Chinese and all Vietnamese. Uh, whether they're in China or not. Yeah, and we, our family and my parents will gather together, we'll just still cook dumplings, make dumplings, and no firecrackers, obviously, but uh, we'll try to watch the TV show and, and uh, the musical show in China and just try to spend some nice family time together. For the last 13 years living in Melbourne, I can see that the city has been celebrating the Chinese New Year and um, there are more and more places is um, acknowledging this um, festival. I see that. That's better. Do you think that maybe with the Year of the Tiger that this is a good sign for coming out of a difficult time? Hopefully that COVID thing will go away as soon as possible after the Chinese New Year and just don't come back again and this is for everyone. I'm a Chinese uh, born Malaysian so my grandparents and my father and parents are born in Malaysia. I'm a third generation in Malaysia so Chinese culture uh, in Malaysia are very big. That's nice. First one is the Losang Lo Sang is the um, raw seafood uh, salad. Big place is in the middle of the table. Yeah. Yep. So you just 
everyone have to stand up and just toss from the bottom and as high as possible. Do you think in this year of the tiger, are you optimistic about the arts industry or do you feel like it's um, going to be a longer term thing than this? Or do you, are you looking forward to this year in terms of your work? Yeah, Melbourne has the reputation for being a, a capital city of arts of Australia. I think the arts scene in Melbourne is um, really accessible and everyone can uh, reach out to the arts in every part of the city. So you don't necessarily need to go to a theater or a gallery space to experience art. It's just around us and it's part of our life in Melbourne. Well, I think over the past sort of two years, we've all been really isolated. So Sydney friends haven't been able to see Melbourne friends and family haven't been able to see family. I mean, from a personal experience, my grandparents now live in Roombula and we haven't been able to see them. Gosh, it, it'd been six months before I had seen them and they're really isolated. So I think community is gonna be so important in this year, 2022, because we all wanna get back together and support people. I mean, there's a lot of people who have been so isolated and by themselves. So we need to rally around them, support all the businesses that have been struggling and that's where community comes in.